Thank you, Joe. I'm uh, Steve Downs. I'm a lawyer from Albany, New York, and I'm here representing Project Salam. Uh, Project Salam for the last few years has been uh, fighting to bring attention to uh, what is happening to the Muslim community here in the United States. It has, of course, uh, Islamophobia has become uh, rampant, uh, but the government itself has targeted uh, a lot of Muslims uh, for contrived charges and has convicted them and sent them away for long periods of time, uh, in part because the government has security concerns about some of them and thinks that they may be dangerous uh, or cooperate with somebody in the future. Um, and what this has done, of course, is destroyed families. It's taken people that are completely innocent who have done nothing and put them in jail. Uh, and whole communities have been destroyed. And some of these banners that have been painted by people uh, actually, these two were painted by uh, an upstate dairy farmer. He spends all of his time with his cows and he cares very, very much about what's happening. He really understands it. He understands what's happening to the Muslim community up in Albany. Over here, we um, did a chart of about 110 of the more uh, interesting or the more prominent uh, cases of preemptive prosecution. This is where the government uh, prosecutes uh, Muslims to preempt them from uh, pre prosecutes them for contrived charges to preempt them from actually uh, getting cooperating with somebody in the future. And we have a, a pamphlet here uh, which describes these stories of these 110 people that we've put up here. And we hope you'll take a copy of it and read it because these are very compelling stories of real injustices that are shocking, frankly, just um, astonishing that this could happen in this country. Uh, but I'm also here because we are happy, we are reaching out to, in solidarity to the uh, peace activists who have been uh, targeted in the, uh, in the Midwest and in, uh, probably all over the country now. And uh, we want to express our solidarity with them. We understand exactly what they're going through. We are all Muslims now. We have to understand that. We are all Muslims now. These prosecutions against Muslims are ideological prosecutions. The government is saying, we are uncomfortable with your ideology, we're going to take you down. And what they're doing with the peace activists is no different. 